All right, welcome to CEO Money TV. Thanks for joining with us. I've got Sandy Padala. She is the founder and CEO of Rex Programming. Sandy, welcome to the show. Thank you. My Thank pleasure. Thank you, Michael. Tell me about your company. So we are here in North Irving, Texas, and we teach computer coding and robotics for kids mm -hmm. from ages five and above. It's very critical that every kid needs to have a fundamental understanding of how computers think, regardless of what career they're going to choose. They could be doctors, they could be NFL players, or do a marketing job. It's, it's very important they have to have an understanding of how computers think. Kids who have a fundamental understanding or a grasp of a coding skill, they'll be more adaptive to the changing workforce needs. How does that happen? What do you do to create the, the education that you're helping these young children with? I mean, tell me about the mechanics of what, what happens when a child comes to you and then they start learning through your processes. So we have a wide variety of technology classes. Half of them are more coding skills uh, to create games, to create websites, mobile apps, and just plain professional languages like Python. And we also have, on the other side, drones, robotics, 3D printing, photo editing, more, more visual arts. It's, so kids are very engaged. Mm -hmm. So I have, uh, so they come over to our location and they start, uh, they, based on their age, grade, and based on their ability, we start them off at certain level. Mm -hmm. And they like, they, like to, they like our classes because it's fun. And, but they are, it, as soon as they start making computer do something, computer doesn't have a brain of its own. They have to think a lot to make computer do something. So they have to code, and they think a lot, and they have lots of fun doing that, and they have a sense of accomplishment. Pro, like computer coding or programming is like magic. If kids have an idea, they, they think through it, and they create it, and they can see it live. It seems to me that this is the, the next stage of education in the world. All children are going to start to learn to code, no matter what it is that they do, and it's going to spill into every part of their life. Am I, is, am I connecting the dots on that? Yes, that's exactly correct. It's, it's the digital literacy. It's like if we think in 1700s when we started to read and write, we had like huge revolutions, industrial revolutions, and and now if we have everyone, everyone learn. It's not even an optional skill. Everyone has to learn coding, and then the next they will see the next revolution. I mean, we're already there, digital revolution. Now, that, that your passion, your mission, and your vision, that you you've touched on it, but give us the the soul of it. Why are you so passionate about this? What has brought you to the point of being able to make the breakthrough, the envelope, and to take this level of, of involvement, interaction with children at such a young age to the next level? Where did that passion come from? So my background is always in technology. I did my undergrad and master's in computer science, and I've been working, I worked in technology in corporate world for close to 14, 15 years, and my last corporate job was at Harley Davidson Motor Company mm -hmm. as a technology design director, and I had the job to put their plants on a software called SAP, and and we were do uh, and I always used to have hard time finding enough number of programmers, and these are real high paying jobs, right. and so we had to uh, we had to give to other companies to find people. It's not, uh, and, and then when, uh, my son always wanted to learn programming mm -hmm. since he was like six, seven, because they like to mimic parents. And I tried to find places that would teach him. I found some online, but I couldn't find anything of good quality in Milwaukee. And then we moved to Dallas in 2014 for my husband's job. And I started looking again. I couldn't find anything of good quality that the way I think kid need, kids needs to learn. Mm -hmm. So I saw a gap and decided to fill the gap for my son and 
other kids along the way. And I was doing research, I realized how critical this is, and not many schools are doing at the level that we need to do right. yet, so I started this. Wow, great story. How are you financing the company? Are you seeking more um, capital formation for um, expansion or hiring? What, what are you doing with that? Right, so until now, I mean, we we are in two schools right now, mm -hmm. Green Hill School and Holy Trinity School, and we have our own location, and we, I have several interests pouring in that they want to open Rex locations, and my, mostly from my current customers and my past colleagues. So until now, I have self-funded this, but uh, now I'm going for funding. I'm looking to raise close to a million dollars, and it's... What would you do if you got the million dollars? What would you do with the money? So we need to hire salesperson, and we are looking to hire a marketing person, and all our curriculum we have put in a learning management system, in an online learning management system, and we have made the curriculum self-paced so that one kid is not holding the other kids because the kid is extremely excited about something or whatever other reason is. So we want to improve our technology better to make it more AI kind of based learning. And so we're going to use some of our funds to make our learning management system more. So I get that right. You're going to start teaching young children how to code for AI? No, I, I mean, we have that also as one of our class, like introduction to AI. We have introduction to Internet of Things. Okay. We also teach data science, mm -hmm. cybersecurity, all the basics of all of this, like different kinds of attacks that could happen and what you need to do. Right. But uh, what I was referring to is we have all our cur curriculum in an online learning management system, mm -hmm. and we want that system to be more uh, more like machine learning kind of, more adaptive to the student right. learning, however the student Understanding learns. the critical learning processes yeah. of each child so, yeah. individually. Right, so I, I need to put some money into my learning management system to make it better, to make it more AI-based and also adding. We have some gaming into the uh, into the learning management system where kids get some points as they make progress and they're more motivated. But uh, it's I want to make it more friendly, more kid-friendly. Got it. And, and beefing up the AI side of that is going to help because it's going to be able to interpret the way that they learn so that they uh -huh. can learn faster and then they'll be able to expand their, their knowledge base. Am I getting that right? Yes, that's correct. So I, I want to make our system more AI based so that the, it understands different kids how they're learning and it's adaptive to that. Got it. All right. Now you have a foundational critical mission. I want to end this segment with this. Tell our audience your foundational critical mission because it's clear to me, but if it's anybody out there is missing it, I want you to get that note out. So I just want to say again, learning computer coding is going to be as important as learning to read and write. If, they, if they're not going to learn coding, they're going to miss out on a lot of opportunities. It's, it is a mandatory skill. Got it. Sandy, thank you for being our guest. Really you, appreciate Michael. that. All right, you've been watching CEO Money TV with Michael Yorba. Thanks. Tune in next time for another unicorn.